take something like this coming election is going to be a kind of I do not be a kind of top election because you know a lot of things is going to happen. A lot of betrayal is going to happen. A lot of rigging is still going to happen. You understand? Because if it is still uh, it still happen in the recent um, local government election that just concluded, I probably in River State and some other state. Probably I believe it's likely to happen in the 2027 election. So I Yusufu, well, no, I is a very a um, good supporter of P2B in the 2023 general election, even up to now. But she came out to state something that, you know, draw the mind and, you know, make P2B supporters kind of sad because she has stated it outrightly that she is not tied to anyone. You know, a lot of people think that Aisha Yesufu is tied to P2B. But Aisha Yesufu has um, replied everyone that she is not tied to P2B. That if you see a better candidate in the 2027 election, she's going to leave P2B. And if you notice, P2B also said the same thing, you understand? If you see a better party, he's going to leave the Labour Party and join the better party in the 2027 election. So, all this thing is that they are fighting for a better post and that can give them a better chance of, you know, winning and See and getting a better post, you understand? So I said, Super stated it outrightly that if you see a better candidate to support in it, better candidate than P2B to support in the 2027 general election, she's going to leave P2B that she's not tied to anyone. So I want to leave you, I want to leave you guys right now with a video of the interview she had with Shell. That interview is very, very interesting. So I want you to take your time to watch that interview if you're in a noisy place. You can kindly get in an head headphone or an earpiece or airport so that you can listen to what they say in that interview. So I'll leave you guys with the video of the interview to watch. Then we come back for the remaining details and explanation. So watch the, the the video and let's come back for the full details and explanation before we can now go to the comment section and share opinion. So watch the video. Uh, there are those who think maybe Peter Obi could be. A deputy or vice to uh, a Rabbi Kwonkonso. Well, Rabbi Kwonkonso. <laughs> why the why the hysteria? Because Rabbi Kwonkonso believes that he's better. Rabbi Kwonkonso should calm down. He says he's better academically than Peter Obi. Yeah, I say me. I say calm down. You know what Rabbi Kwonkonso did? I I I I did a video. I think it's like if I'm not mistaken, it's more than 10, 15 minutes or maybe twenty minutes video during that twenty twenty two election. And I said to Rabiu, Mr. Kwanko, so in that video, look, this should be about Nigeria. This should be about good governance. It shouldn't be about someone, me, or whatever. At the time that that election was, go was going to happen, uh, Buhari had just come, who was from the uh, north, uh, Northwest. And then, you know, you're saying you, you're and Muslim. And you're saying you too, you want to uh, come, and, come and take it. At the end of the day, it shouldn't matter wherever somebody's region is from. You know, do what you, uh, you need to do. And in terms of uh, ge geographical spread, Peter Obi had better geographical spread than Conquest. So at least, even the, the election, the results that uh, INEC finally decided, you can still say. But he didn't feel it. And I said, look, uh, Biden was vice to Obama. Even though Obama uh, he, uh, was younger, it didn't matter. What matters is that how do you move the country forward? How do you ensure that your people don't end up suffering? And then Kwan Kwaso felt that, oh, he wanted to do it. And this, I saw one interview where he did. He said he's a civil engineer. He's, uh, how old did he say he was? He's, he has a PhD. He has a PhD in engineering. A former minister. A former, minister, a former, former senator. Governor, a former a governor. Former, don't former you think those political PhD. and uh, those, that profile may be towering than uh, that of Mr. Pitobi? You don't think Mr. Peter Obi could be a deputy to Kwankwonso going forward? If, if Mr. Peter Obi is a deputy to Kwankwonso, I can tell you that I, Aisha Yusufu, will work against that ticket in whatever capacity I can. That is legitimately and constitutionally allowed. Because it's enough of the nonsense we have done all over the time in this country where we continue to put the best foot 
last. So you think Peter B is better than the Kwon 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 So let's calm down, I beg. It's not about uh, this thing. It, it, it's, it's not about uh, that you, you, you sponsored people to go, uh, uh, what do you call it, abroad to go and get education. During the election, every time Kwon Kwon is always entering plane where it was his pilots that have done this thing. Where is Kanu, when you were talking about education, yeah, at the hierarchy of education. Yes, we sponsor some people there. Where are all, all of those things? So as far as I'm concerned, you understand? And that's my own opinion. Somebody else might be different for somebody else. It might be the other way around. Peter B is way better. And we should not be in a place where we are putting, uh, how do you put it, we are putting our best foot backward. If Peter B decides, if Peter B decides if, to be a deputy, be, would you still support him? No, I said I will work against you. Not the they talk. No, no, not even if, if, he, if, he, he, so even I, if it's not for Rabbi Konkonto, if he deputizes... If he deputizes for anybody, whether I think for anybody, more I shall if I will work for, for, against them, he will... Now, by first thing, we enter there. You never tell us all this and what we do with the current person. We know so, so it's Peter or B or nothing? Le no, it's not Peter or B or nothing. Like, you asked me a question before if there's anyone, if I, if on the ticket there's anyone better than Peter or B, whether. Maybe an OB. Ah, uh, OB is a question. Hmm. Uh, anytime, any day. Above Peter or B? Uh, be before. Dr. OB is a question. has it. You understand? Nigerians might not, uh, with their Nigerian way of, uh, or they want the one that will be sweet talking them. Poly understand, and you will notice that. In Nigeria, you don't have a real important Nigerian politics. Your friend in this particular um, election can be your enemy in the next one. I'm not referring to Aisha Isufu because of what she said. No, she has the right. She stated it outrightly that she's not even a Labour Party member. Understand? She stated outrightly that she's not a Labour Party member. She just did that she just um is because of she supported it to be in the 2023 general election that's why a lot of people now think that she's a labor party member no actually so far i've cleared it that, that she's not a labor party member and she said that it out that if you see a better candidate than it will be in the 27 general election she's going to join them and you know one thing that make all these um activists you know like aisha yesufu and other politicians who are talking of leaving p to be is that you know most of all these politicians love politi um politicians they love of they love to stay with politicians that don't have human conscience you understand that can do anything to make that their particular to get that what they want you know? and p to b is not such a person p to b is a very calm person you understand he doesn't like violence you know so that's why most of all those politicians who come close to him during the 2023 general election most of them right now are always talking of you know departing from him you know stating many many things and all those things you understand because of the nature of p2b you understand if p2b is behaving probably some like maybe probably like niece or wiki you know Probably like all those hungry politicians that can do anything just to get post. He's going to have massive people around him. You understand? He's going to have massive people around him. But Peter B has stated it out that he's not even desperate in becoming, he's not desperate in becoming the president of Nigeria. You understand? That's one major one major reason actually Yusufu said she might even she if she see a better um, candidate to support, you understand? Because actually, a suitable target is just to see that President Bola Metinubu is removed from that particular post because he's not doing anything. Instead, he's making the country worse. You understand? So, Peter B has said that rightly that his main focus is not even about becoming the president. He's not desperate to become a president because a lot of people is saying that why Peter B is, is doing all what he's doing, you know, is because of he lost the election, he's being paid. Then Peter B made that statement that he's not desperate, you understand, to become the president of Nigeria. That what he's desperate about is to see Nigeria move forward, you understand. Peter B is a multi-millionaire, probably a billionaire, you understand. So he's we, the citizens that come that are coming out to mock Peter B or try to say that he's being pain because they lose the election. We are still the one that will, that, that, that will be in the pain and still losing, you understand. So, Peter B is not desperate to become the president of Nigeria. Let's remove that in our mind. And right now, I want you guys to go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning what you think. And with no due time, I'll be there in the comment section.
to reply each and every comment. So thanks for watching this particular comment. My name is Nero247 Update. What I did in this channel is that when we get vital information, just like the one you're just watching, we bring them down to you guys and for you guys to watch and let and let's share our opinion with each other. Have a great day ahead. Bye.